morning to all of you the story we are going to cover today is quality and this story uh, deals with a shoe maker who is supposed to be very artistic very hard working towards his art and his art is making boot and the boot he makes is not going to fail is superb and is uh, on high demand in public especially in the city of london here the name of the boot maker is mr gesler and he is known to his name not by any another brand i knew him from the days of my father's boot he lived with his elder brothers in his shop which was in a small by street in a fashionable part of london the author here talks about the boot maker mr gesler who was making the boots in the city of london with his brother and the name of his shop was mr gesler and it was not well decorated it was quite simple from outside but the quality that you can see also the name of the chapter is quality the quality he used to give the people used to come time and again for the same reason to this artist and he was famous for that reason and the author was not going to his booth from his time but when his father was alive he also as a child he used to visit mr gesler shop when his father was with him the shop had a certain quite distinction it was totally different kinds of set up in the shop there was no sign upon it other than the name of gesler you know whenever you visit the shop especially the boots and uh, and the slippers and whatever you go to buy to the market you find different kinds of uh, advertisement uh, being shown outside of the shop but here in the shop of mr gesler there is nothing such kind of shine it is quite simple from outside but only the name of mr gesler has been written or uh, written there and that's name is gesler brothers and in the window a few pairs of boots he made only what was ordered and you know he was when you enter the shop of mr gesler you will find hanging some pairs of boots but these were only which were ordered it was not uselessly just hanging from years and months and not being sold it was not such was not the story with mr gesler and his shop he made only what was order and what he made never failed to fit it was his way of method it was his dedication towards his work it was his hard work that made him famous the quality he provide to the people for the comfortability of the people to make boots such boots as he made seem to me then and still seems to me mysterious and wonderful the author supposed to be very much delighted and the comfortability he used to get after wearing the boots that he used to buy from mr gesler brothers still today it is not to be understood and a matter of surprise for him because these kinds of boots in the whole city of london he was unable to find that's why it is the matter of wonderful and mysterious activity for him he remember well my shy remarks i remember well my shy remarks the author even today remembers the remarks he used to make on mr gesler one day while stretching out of out to him my youthful feet when the author was a child when he was young 
and he used to go to just uh, to the shop and that time he was there was a chair left a table you can say a stool left kept inside the shop where the customer used to come and sit and with comfortability and after that they used to just uh, uh, use whether uh, the boots are going to fit or not isn't it awful hard to do mr gesler and his answer given with a sudden smile from out of the redness of his beard id is an adept aur ye jo hai ये यहाँ पे एक ऐसा रिमार्क दे रहे हैं जो पहले मतलब वो इट वॉज जस्ट लाइक जस्ट ही वॉन्टेड टू मेक अ सरप्राइज विद हिम दैट दैट्स वाई ही मेड सच रिमार्क्स टू हिम इट वॉज नॉट पॉसिबल टू गो टू हिम एवरी ऑफन हिज बुड्स लास्टेड टेरिबली एंड यू नो वंस यू बाई द बुड्स फ्राम मिस्टर गेस्टर ब्रदर्स you need not to go and complain that there is some defect there is some fault in this boot and it is unable to fit or it is going to just uh, uh, be not durable for long period of time such kinds of a story was not with the gesler uh, boot because the quality he maintained is known for mr gesler mr gesler is known for his quality it was simple but the quality he's made was tremendous and this is the quality which always attracted the people of the city of london towards his shop towards his boots and the author as well thank you